started, I would like to introduce Kaizen's own Chelsea Jewell. Thanks, Sherry. And thanks everybody for joining us today. So today we're gonna to talk about nano coatings. And this is the third part in our stencil cleaning series that we've done. If you're interested in any of the previous videos, you can find those on our tech to tech session. So with when it comes to nano coatings, we're gonna talk about how to clean and protect your investment. So first and foremost, what is a nano coating? Nano coatings are ultra thin layers or chemical structures that are built on top of another material. You see these in everyday life on cars mostly, you see different ceramic coatings, um, rain -X designed to help with wetting on the surface of the windshield, you know, on performance fabric, similar to what's in the image to keep moisture from, from seeping into the surface. Also, there's all over electronics with waterproofing. But specifically today, we're gonna to talk about nano coatings on stencils. These coatings are designed and applied to stencils to help perform it and increase the stencil lifespan over the, the course of production. So mainly when it comes to stencil nano coatings, there are two types. First, we have a wipe-on coating. This coating is typically a two-part process with a primer and then a coating solution. Typically, what you see is with the primer, you take that and scrub over the surface of the stencil and then rinse it off. Then after drying it, you apply the coating solution for your nano coating. This can be done on site by an operator with your existing stencil. As you can see in the image, we see our stencil apertures, but you don't see the coating on the surface. We'll get into how to test to see if those coatings are present later on in the presentation. Our second type of nano coating is a cured on coating. So this material is cured on to the surface of the stencil, and this is typically applied by the stencil or coating manufacturer. As you can see in the image, this yellow boundary is our nano coating. It's easily visible without having to do further testing. So let's get into the benefit of nano coating. Nano coatings will assist with solder release when printing. As you can see in our images, the top image is a stencil aperture that's been laser cut, and the surface is very rough, and that promotes a lot of adhesion of the solder paste to the wall of the stencil. Whereas in our second image, a nano coating has been applied and it's helped smooth out that surface. So it helps with solder release, and that will improve your print quality. It will also reduce the amount of wear on your stencil because you're seeing less cleaning because overall the printing process is going smoother. You don't have to use as many under stencil wipe processes because your solder doesn't build up in the corners of your apertures. So that also reduces the amount of solder paste wasted. Overall, the benefits of nano coatings are drastically improved with um, the cleaning process and overall just your stencils are much better so let's get into how we test nano coating all of our nano coatings come in and they're tested with our entire stencil cleaning line we have products that are alkaline based neutral based we have some semi-aqueous aqueous we test a whole range of our products with all the various nano coatings on the market these are tested in ultrasonic immersion spray and air, and under stencil wipe process. Overall, we do 60 hours of wash exposure. So this stencil, once the nano coating is applied or it comes in as a cured coating, those go into one of the machines with our chemistries and we run a typically five minute cycles and test after each cycle to see how the coating is holding up. This is done for a total of 60 hours of exposure. So in the images, you'll see a purple solution that's beaded up on the surface. This is a dyne solution. And what it's designed to do is measure the surface tension of a surface. Typically, we use a 32 dyne solution for stencil coating. And it's applied by taking a cotton swab, dipped in solution, and then swiped across the surface of the stencil. And what you'll start to see is 
on our nano coatings, that solution beads up and you have a lot more surface tension to raise that fluid off. Whereas once you go into the non nano coated areas, that solution wets out and it's flat in appearance. This is how we check to make sure that the coating is holding up. Also, with our cured coatings, we check with for visual differences. So, cleaning process recommendations. With a wipe on coating, we have observed that the pH of the wash solution, even down to the rinse sometimes, can affect this coating. Typically, we recommend spray and air or manual processes for our, our wipe on coating. The nice thing about it is that you can apply on site. So if you notice that that coating is starting to wear or it's been removed, you can have an operator reapply that coating. They're typically lower cost. So if you have a short production run, these will last the lifetime of that production run. And then as far as cured on coatings, we've seen a broad range of compatible solutions. Um, both alkaline and solvent based um, have proven to be very compatible with the cured on coating. So these are in spray and air, ultrasonic, and manual cleaning processes. And what we've observed is the coating will typically last the life of the sample. One observation we have to make, the coating has to be reapplied by the manufacturer. You know, this can be on an existing stencil that you sent out, or you can order it directly from the company that makes the coating most of the time. So getting into kind of a summary of what we know about nano coating. Overall, they can drastically improve the printing process and make things that are typical headaches, like slump and other tacky issues, much easier. The stencil process needs to be customized to the whatever type of, of coating you have on the stencil. So going into that, knowing you want to use a specific coating, we can help out with, with helping what chemistry will work with that process. You know, our wipe on coatings, they are less tolerant of the cleaning process, but they can be reapplied on the protection floor and that makes things a lot smoother. The cured on coatings will last the lifetime of the stencil. They're typically a higher investment initially, but once they're on there, we haven't observed them coming off. Moving on to questions. Um, overall, Kaizen has performed hundreds of hours of testing on nano coatings and we with all of our products on the market. Um, if you have specific questions about what coating works best for your process or what chemistry will work in your current machine, feel free to reach out and let us know. And if you've enjoyed this stencil cleaning session, our last session is in June with Luis and he's going to tell you about best practices when it comes to stencil. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Chelsea. If you would like to discuss this topic further, please contact your local Kaizen representative or send an email to tech, the number two, tech at kaizen.com, and we'll have one of our cleaning experts schedule a follow up with you as soon as possible. Again, we thank you all for joining us today, and we hope to see you again soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day.